Welcome to part two of setting up the MPK Mini within Reason. In part one, we set up uh, the device and had use of the keys, but we had some problems with the drum mapping and Kong. So after uh, a bit of a headache with working with this stuff, I finally figured out what the issue is. And so now if I bring in a Kong, I can select bank A, which is the green, and then select bank B. And everything is matched up as it should be. Now this was a, a pain in the ass to figure out because according to the uh, reason manual here, you know, I'm on the reason manual. It says that by playing the keys C1 to D sharp two or C3 to B6 on your MIDI keyboard on screen piano keys, this is gonna trigger the pads. So in the C1 to D sharp two range, each MIDI note will trigger one pad each from pad one to pad 16. So I mapped, I opened up the editor for the MPK mini and I mapped it according to this but it didn't work um, properly. So I'm gonna close Reason and show you what I did in the editor here. I'm going to select the MPK, apply, okay. And I put the changes that I made on program two, so I'm gonna get that. So now I've got that. Bank A, pad one, what are we starting on? C2, we're, but according to the manual, we're supposed to start on C1 goes to pad one. C sharp two is pad two. But this is what I'm using, uh, program two, in order to trigger as you just saw and it goes uh, chromatically from C2 to G2. Bank B, which uh, gave me access to the top eight pads, starts on D G sharp two and goes up to D sharp three, which is totally not what shows in the manual. And I feel like the manual is probably accurate, but there's something buggy with this uh, editing software. And after, as I was working with this, I really needed to select the program select a few times before it pulled the latest upload that I sent to the MPK Mini. So what I'd like to do now, um, this will probably help a lot of you out and you can stop watching, but if you're not familiar with the editor, I'll just spend the last part of this video uh, showing you uh, a bit of how to work with this so you'll feel more comfortable if you're going to map this on your own. And I don't want to mess with my program two. I'm just, I'm going to get program three. So what I did, bank A, I started on C2, pad one, C2, you see this is C3. You can click on this and then choose C2. And then C sharp two. A quicker way of doing this, just you go on chromatically, but another thing you could do is auto populate. So we're starting on C, where are we, where are we? C2, set scale starting with note, chromatic up, and we want to apply that to bank A. Now, once I click apply to bank A, a, you can see this does all of the work for us. Now, for bank B, we start at G sharp two. Where are you? There. And we've got it selected there, chromatic up, apply to bank B. So now our work is done for us. We can close out of the auto populate. 
and you want to check this here I set my uh, pad MIDI channel to number one uh, pitch bin control we had problems with our pitch bin in the part one of the video uh, just choosing that there I actually haven't tried to see if that works yet so then you can send it to program three if you haven't set up uh, we've already done our device setup by selecting and then hit apply OK and at this point you should be able to send and maybe I will just go ahead and do this so you can see it in action you can also come to file send to hardware program 3 now it's important that you close out the MPK before you go back into Reason and then try to check your settings. Okay, we still should be on program two here. If I bring in Kong, go to bank A, The... But now, program 3 should also play the same, and this will flash to let you know where you are. If you ever want to know which program you're on, just press program select, and it will light up for a second there. So this should also work the same. And it... Okay, bank A, bank B. Okay, so that's how you map your pads in Kong.